All right, guys, here we are. We're about to go over uh, the Chapter 11 story, uh, Ulysses and the Cyclops. And uh, just jump right in. Um, you guys did really good on this. Uh, I kind of changed a few things from the original one. Um, you guys mostly missed the pronouns, which we're supposed to be learning in this chapter. So we're going to highlight them when we go over it. But uh, sentence number one, after... The Trojan War. After the Trojan War, Ulysses comes with 12 men to the island of the Cyclops. All right. Um, not much to talk about here. Ulysses is the subject. You can tell because that matches the nominative from the vocab. And then the verb is when it, he, she, it, Ulysses comes. Um, it could be came to, but the rest of the story uses the present tense. So it's probably the present tense. Uh, in a cave, they find, and the subject is in the verb, which Latin will do, they find good cheese. Okay, nothing's better than some good cheese. All right. While they eat, and uh, it's the verb to eat, the UNT is present. It's a third conjugation verb. Um, while they eat, and now this refers to the cheese, which I wrote here. And it's accusative. Uh, it's masculine because cheese is masculine. But you would translate it as it while they eat it because it's referring to the cheese so while they eat it the cyclops polyphemus is leading that's the verb it's got the he she it ending um is leading sheep into that cave and the elam that means that it goes with cave you can see they have the same ending um, in when it's followed by the accusative translates as into. So the Cyclops Polyphemus is leading sheep into that cave and he sees or just sees the Greeks. All right, all the verbs are in the present tense here. Um, this story is putting most of the verbs in the present tense. All right. Uh, Oh, sorry. All right. What are you doing? Um, some of you translate as make. Facio can be make or do. So do here makes a little bit more sense. Um, what are you doing in my cave? And the TIS uh, is you plural. And the wos is the you plural pronoun. So that all matches up. What are you doing in my cave? You will pay the penalty. Here the verb is in the future, and it's that you plural. You will pay the penalty if you have, always check your verb, all right? It's got T-I-S, so it's you plural. If you have bad plans or evil plans in your mind. And then it all goes together. Uh, plan is neuter, so the A here is plural. Uh, it's the direct object. If you have bad plans or evil plans in your mind. All right. <clears throat> we sail, the verb once again ends in M-U-S, so it's we. We sail from Troy. Troy here is in the ablative. So by, with, or from, uh, from makes the most sense. We sail from Troy. Ulysses says, and then the EI is from that new pronoun chart, um, <clears throat> which I told you down here. And dative case makes sense here. Ulysses says to him. All right, so we sail from Troy. Ulysses says to him, uh, will you give your cheese 
to us. And then nobis, it's from the nobis chart. That's we, um, of us, to or for us. And here nobis is dative uh, to us. Will you give your cheese to us? And Polyphemus shouts, fool. Here's the rare vocative case. And normally it would be US, but uh, if you're talking to somebody, you change the US into an E. Uh, so fool or foolish man, what will you give? And there's the U plural ending. It's future also. What will you give to me? And me, he is from the ego chart, uh, another pronoun chart. So what will you give to me? All right, without delay, Mora is delay. We've seen this phrase a few times. Without delay, he takes. Capio is the verb seize. Um, he seizes or he takes a few men. You can see the accusative direct object endings here. Uh, without delay, he seizes a few men and he eats. And you can put like a them in here. Um, and he eats them. Or you could have done, he seizes and eats a few men. Uh, all right. Cyclops is not messing around. Um, then he asks, what is the name to you? Or simply, what is your name? And in a lot of Romance languages, like Spanish and Italian, that's the way of saying, what is your name? They say, what is the name to you? Uh, it's actually called dative of possession. Um, what is the name to you? All right, sentence six. Uh, Ulysses responds, Nemo. Some of you just wrote Nemo, uh, but Nemo is the Latin word. It means no one or nobody. So... Uh, Ulysses responds, no one. While Polyphemus sleeps, um, the story skips the part where the Greeks had a bunch of wine with them and Polyphemus was curious about the wine so they kept feeding it to him and he falls asleep. Uh, so while Polyphemus sleeps, the Greeks make a plot or the Greeks make an ambush, um, a plot here makes more sense. The Greeks make a plot. They sharpen, and you get the subject out of the verb ending here. They sharpen a log in flame. And they send, and you can insert like it here, and they send it into his eye. And Eos is from that new chart also. Um, which I told you down here, and it's the genitive case, so his, or of him. Um, and they send it into his eye. He's only got one eye, so it's not good. Oh, unfortunate Polyphemus. Note the vocative here. Oh, unfortunate Polyphemus. And this phrase is a little weird. Um, Kind of like, it is not well for you. Or you could say, like, this isn't good for you. Uh, all right. Other Cyclops come. But they do not see the true danger. All right. The subject here is in the verb, which happens all the time. NT equals they. But they do not see the true danger. No one attacked me. Aha. So Ulysses says the name of the person who said his name was Nemo. No one attacked me, Polyphemus calls. Good, they say. And EI just means they. It's the nominative plural from that chart. Uh, good, they say. Goodbye.
So Ulysses trick to say that his name is nobody um, means that Polyphemus can't tell anybody who heard him. So I guess all the other Cyclops think he just burned his own eye. I don't know. So no one attacked me. All right. Um, therefore, the Greeks are able to flee from the cave. Passant are able. I didn't miss that. The blind Cyclops hears these words. Hike goes with Werba. It's a neuter, accusative plural. The blind Cyclops hears these words. Goodbye. I am not no one. I'm the soon as I am. I am not no one but Ulysses. So the uh, the Greeks sail away. Ulysses and his men sail away. And once they're safely in the water, he reveals his true name. And unfortunately for him, uh, he didn't realize that, and you guys did this on the Ed Puzzle, that the Cyclops' father was Poseidon, or Neptune, the god of the sea. So probably not a good idea to do that and then sail on the Mediterranean. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Um, like I said, you guys mostly did well. Just uh, pronouns are always tough in Latin. And um, you'll just get better at it with practice. All right. Hope you all are well. And uh, I'll see you next time. See you.